Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my another video over here and hope you all are doing well. So this is a continue part uh, third for uh, installing your fake AP in a Kali Linux. So in this video we will go and learn how to configure a fake AP to provide a DHCP uh, IP. So first of all uh, we will go and install a DHCP server in a Kali Linux. So command would be apt get install as it does dsp dscp dash server. So just install this one first. Uh, I have already installed it, uh, the server already. And the second thing would be you need to edit the dscp deconfig file. So So my configuration is here. So my uh, IP range, uh, the subnet would be 10.0.0.0, and subnet max is here. And my router is uh, 254. And my domain name hosting is home, and the domain name server is 8.8.8. .8 .8. Uh, Google one and the IP range is 30 to 60. So uh, you need to configure this file and just save it. And the sec third option would be make a fake AP. So let's just go and make a fake AP. Creating a mon zero. Monte remote interface and create a fake AP on channel A with a SSID of free Wi Fi. Uh, it's already created. Now, next thing is to bring up our uh, AT0 up. And configure the IP address for. So I'm using for AT0 is uh, 254 uh, as a router subnet and here is a default gateway. So uh, for this IP range uh, the net and subnet is the default gateway would be this one. So if I just I have config and if you see here my IP for AT0 is acting as a router. So next thing is to greater IP table. So here is a command for getting an IP table up and running. So my IP table is up already. Now let me start a DHCP server. So you can see my DHCP server is already started. Now let me do a IP forwarding. So that's all. Now let me see if uh, the user is able to connect back to this AP. It's a free Wi Fi. You can see. Client is associated. Now you can see uh, my Wi Fi is connected 
to a free Wi-Fi. So I think that's all for this video. And in a next video, we'll go and see how to uh, do a man a man in the middle attack using a free Wi-Fi or a fake access point to capture a user login detail. So that's for for this video. Thank you. Thank you for watching.